Now, being a YouTuber, live streamer, slash content creator, there are many things you can get away with online. For example, letting your offline personality take over your online and say some things that you're not supposed to say. You can live stream or vlog your way into a country disrespecting their culture and doing degenerate shit like the forest situation. And all you gotta do is sit in front of the camera, play a sad violin and say, during my lapse of judgment, of my judgment, I have made some severe mistakes and I do not expect to be forgiven. And guess what? At the beginning, people will be mad at you, call you names, but eventually they'll forgive you and you can move on with your career. You can fake your videos, but your audience finds out they'll just be disappointed at you, but you can recover from it. You can scam your own audience. And once you get caught, all you gotta do is play dumb and pretend like you had no idea that this whole thing was happening. And you can recover from it, but you still be known as an asshole forever on the internet. But there is one specific thing you can never recover from is texting inappropriate, having spicy conversations with minor, which is a career suicide. No matter how many times you say, I had no intentions, I was... I was young, I had no idea what I was doing, I grew from the person that I was. No matter how many times you say these things, you are not going to recover and it is a career suicide like I said, especially if you're a 35 year old man with wife and a kid. And just four days ago, Dr. Disrespect tried to revive CBR the shit out of his career after he himself put it in an electric chair when he snitched on himself last month for talking spicy conversations with a minor. Now, he tried to c come in the online platforms again and pretend like nothing happened after all the shit that's been going on on YouTube and social media in general over the past month. He thought that no one would notice. And his comeback strategy was doing what he does best, doing what everyone used to love him, the reason he grew and became such a sensation on the internet disrespecting people but one thing he forgot to realize is people love him disrespecting other people but one thing he failed to realize is one thing people do not accept that there's a red line it is disrespecting the age of consent so shit was so sad and embarrassing especially throughout his replies through the post he made like two replies we'll get that to that at the end of the video and I honestly don't know anyone who recovered from you know disrespecting the age of consent except what was his name cody Co. Honestly, other people need to take notes from Cody Cole because bro is getting away with it for years. Now, in case you forgot, in 2020, Dr. Disrespect got banned on Twitch for absolutely no reason. No one having any idea. It was the biggest internet's mystery until 2024, where an ex-Twitch employee came forward and said, Dr. Disrespect exactly knows what he's done and the reason why he got banned in 2020 and he's been lying to you all along. The reason is he was having spicy conversations with a minor. Now, shit was quiet. Dr. Zubek made a statement which was pretty ass. He wasn't addressing any of it. There was no answer in that statement. But after a few days, he decided to snitch on himself. He thought if he comes clean for something that he did seven, eight years ago, people would be like, oh, okay, you were a child. You were a 35-year-old child and, you know, we do mistakes in our lives. We forgive you and we love you for it. He thought they will work, but he absolutely got destroyed and canceled off of the face of the internet he came with his chest up and he was like i texted a minder and had spicy conversations with them hate me or love me it is so good to get this weight off of me right now and if you think i'm a piece of shit that is fine but i am not fucking going anywhere i'm not the same guy that made the mistakes all those years ago I mean, yeah, he was a child, honestly. He was 35 years old. Now he's 42 and he's grown a lot, 100%. He said he's taking an extended vacation with the family. I guess after a month, uh, family vacation is over and he is back. To be fair, he told us that he's coming back. So this video was going to be made eventually. They want me to disappear. Yeah, fucking right. Dr. Disrespect is no bitch. He makes people his bitch, especially underage. Now, he didn't make any statements in his latest post four days ago. He just posted a picture that I am playing chess and you are playing checkers. Meaning I am the smart one who plays chess and thinks everything through and I have I am full of thoughts and you are the donkey who plays a very stupid childish game called checkers where you need no amount of thinking. Well, Dr. Zizbeck, if you play against a minor, I think, yeah, that's checkers will be more... Of, you know better for them because they don't understand chess it makes sense if you think about it and dr disrespect if you say you've been playing chess your whole life you are super smart and you think through life decisions why did you kill your career then huh what why, why why would you ruin it for a night of shakalaka boom boom and spicy conversations and out of the 20 30 000 people who commented he only replied to two people in this situation 
First one, this person posting a picture saying, Oh, I heard you like you like to tickle little children. He replied, little brainwashed woke boy putting out Dragon Ball Z gifts with Kendrick Lamar lines. Got me big time. Again, this is his comeback strategy on disrespecting people. And people will love him again because, you know, they loved him because he was disrespecting people. It's just so sad. It's just very extremely pathetic for him coming back and just pretending like nothing happened. And trying to win his way back. And look at the likes in this situation, yeah? He's getting barely any likes with 8 million views on it. He replied, shit, not even... Shit is not even Kendrick Lamar, but I see you immediately thought of him, not like <laughs> Did you at least increase a vertical leap? Got a tan too. This one says, is this you playing with a minor? This one says, good one, she hurt. The internet will never fix your real threat. Depression. And best to suspect, roasting people online will not recover or revive your channel, uh, your platform after what you did. Texting minors. And the reason my opinions are too harsh towards them is because... He used to be a 35-year-old man when he did this. He wasn't no 20, 21-year-old texting a 15, 16-year-old in this. That makes it super weird and super, super, just so much more disgusting. But let's see what is his next big move on his chess playground being the internet. Let's see what other moves he's going to come forward with and get it roasted by and try to have it come back by disrespecting people. And no matter how good you are at disrespecting people, the internet will always stay undefeated when it comes to the comment section. The comment sections there are absolutely brutal. And Dr. Suspect picked those carefully, but during his replies, he's getting like thousands of comments of them roasting them and count counter roasting the shit out of Dr. Suspect in this situation. I look forward to see what happens. Do I think he's going to get a platform back? Most probably, yes, because there are there's hundred something thousand people who like the tweet after he posted. There are going to be small portion of people who are still going to support him and watch him either way. And majority of people are going to hate on him. The only uh, thing in this case is if a platform starts doing something about it. Like, for example, the EDP situation where TikTok, YouTube, every place basically just banned this guy. If the platforms don't ban him, most probably he'll make it come back. But his reputation is always going to be Dr. Disrespect disrespecting the age of consent it's always going to stick with them but don't be shocked if you find out that he actually made a comeback and he's back on the platform anyways just wanted to share this news with you let me know your thoughts in the comments below like the video if you enjoy it subscribe you know the rest take care of yourself i will see you at the next one